just one comment you left in the fifth week, which I loved, that you said uh, Segwit, no, Lightning was Bitcoin proof of stake. I just wanted, you know, that, how does everything sort of feed into that and how things are going to change, you know, with all those questions um, presented again? Sorry, I think it's slightly babbling. Uh, that's something I said in the past. And basically what I'm saying there is that Lightning Network involves doing local validation of the same consensus rules as Bitcoin. It has to be the same consensus rules. But you get to earn fees by committing funds into a channel. That sounds very much like proof of stake to me. I think it, it represents a tremendous opportunity for um, users who want to run a Bitcoin full node. If you want to run a Bitcoin full node, it takes quite a lot of commitment in data storage, and CPU, and RAM, and bandwidth. Not many people do that. Probably about five to 15,000 users. You are running one right there. I am running one as well. Great. Um, how many people here are running a full node? Ten. Wow. Go Singapore. Um, it takes a big commitment in resources, and you don't get paid to do this. How many of you would be running a full node if you could also run a lightning node, commit some Bitcoin to it, and earn fees on it? And so now you see that was about 20 people. So clearly incentives matter. Lightning is one way we can incentivize running full nodes, fully validating nodes and also full archive nodes, potentially. That is going to be a really important development in Bitcoin. And I am very much in favor. Now, you would think that a group of miners that run nodes that already collect all transactions, right, already have to be fully validating nodes, would look at Lightning Network and go, Hey, we could earn more fees using the same infrastructure by running lightning nodes. We could be hubs for payments. We could extend into this space. Why are they not doing that? Because lightning network and running full nodes is software. And it requires maintenance, and system administrators, and security professionals, and configuration and upgrades, and all of the kinds of things that you can't simply get someone to rack and mount hardware to do. It's an alien world. It's not better, it's not worse, it's just on the other side of that culture divide. That goes a long way to explain why miners aren't jumping up and down and saying, hey, yeah, I want to run Lightning, we're going to be best positioned to be running these hubs. Because it's not the same as racking mining hardware. Mm -hmm.